Tell attacking my small barbecue business. My name is Amanda. I'm the founder and CEO of Amanda's Barbecue located right here in Fayetteville, Georgia. And Mattel, the brand that owns Barbie, is stating that my small black owned business, Amanda's Barbecue, is causing confusion to their customers and is also bringing down the integrity of their beloved, precious Barbie. I want you to imagine launching your dream business and then stepping on a legal landmine that blows up your entire business. That's exactly what has happened to Amanda. And she, after filing a trademark for her business, Amanda's Barbecue, was met with swift legal action from Mattel, owner of Barbie. They are taking issue with Amanda's trademark and they're doing everything in their power to block all of her blessings. You're right. That's the fifth floor problem. Okay. Not in my house. <laughs> By stopping her trademark application from maturing to a registration. You, like many other people, may be asking, what is wrong with Mattel? Why do they have beef with Amanda? Where can I get some of the best barbecue? Jones barbecue and foot massage. Jones barbecue and foot massage. You better come down here, get some of this You like to eat, America loves to eat. So why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed. We'll fry anything you want for $5.99. As long as it's friable or edible, we're gonna make it deliciable. Amanda, she is a female barbecue pit master. She's won a host of awards, and she fell in love with cooking when she was growing up and spending time with her grandmother in the kitchen, and she saw how she prepared barbecue. And this started when Amanda was eight years old. After she spent about 17 years in the education space, she stepped out and launched her own business in 2017. She has won a host of awards and has even appeared on Food Network Canada's Fire Master. I made smoked pork chops and spicy kale with grilled sweet potatoes and peach relish on top. Like most business owners, Amanda decided to pursue trademark protection by making sure that she can actually own her business name. And if you're unfamiliar with what a trademark is, I'll briefly touch on that. A trademark is a word, a name, a logo, a tagline. In some rare occasions, a trademark can even be a scent, a sound, or a color. Ultimately, whatever the mark is, it helps people identify your business. Unlike other types of intellectual property like patents and copyrights, a trademark can last forever. Uh, forever, forever, ever, forever, ever. Amanda decided to file her trademark application. Now, Amanda filed her trademark application pro se. That's fancy Latin for for oneself. I actually did it myself. Yeah. Nice. When you file a trademark pro se, it means that you are doing it without the support and representation of a licensed attorney. That's perfectly fine to do, perfectly legal to do, if you are a US citizen. Only 40% of DIY applications are successful. Whereas when you compare that to using an attorney, there's 82% chance of success. She would have worked with an experienced attorney that did a comprehensive search. I'm assuming she did not. There are a lot of red flags when it came down to this. <laughs> because Barbie is in the restaurant space. They actually have a trademark for restaurant and food services and they have these pop-up shops. Mattel, that represents the Barbie brand, they filed a notice of opposition. If you receive a notice of opposition, you are now involved in a limited form of court proceeding. This is akin to a lawsuit, but without the monetary damages or attorney's fees. Now in Mattel's notice of opposition, they've made claims against Amanda's barbecue that she's infringing on their trademark due to likelihood of confusion and dilution by blurring and dilution by tarnishment. Dilution is only available for famous trademarks. Famous trademarks enjoy an extra layer of protection under the doctrine of dilution. 
One facet of which is dilution by tarnishment and the other is dilution by blurring. And Mattel, the brand that owns Barbie, is stating that my small black owned business, Amanda's Barbecue, is causing confusion to their customers and is also bringing down the integrity of their beloved precious Barbie. So when she talks about bringing down the integrity of their beloved precious Barbie, that speaks to those dilution claims that I was talking about. Dilution by blurring, dilution by tarnishment. Those are legal claims that only famous trademarks can actually assert. And that's actually what Mattel is bringing forward in their opposition proceeding against Amanda. In terms of next steps, what I anticipate happening is the following. Currently, Amanda, um, when I was making this video, Amanda was actually raising funds on GoFundMe for her legal defense. These can be really expensive lawsuits whenever you're in trademark infringement or, or battling a notice of opposition. Um, hopefully her counsel properly advises her about the total scope or how long term this is going to be because these cases can last up to 18 months and in some cases can be anywhere from a $25,000 to a $50,000 plus dollar investment. I honestly think she potentially could consider just dropping that extra E from her name and spell barbecue the normal way. And if she's able to move forward just with doing that slight deviation, she will be able to refile her trademark application and hopefully secure a pathway to nationwide brand protection. But, you know, she needs to really assess should she use this capital that she's raising towards legal fees or is it better suited for her to just update her logo and rebrand slightly so she can keep moving in the right direction i'd love to know your thoughts in the comments weigh in what do you think amanda should do and also do you think mattel is in the right are they bullying this small black owned business are they just defending their legal rights and making sure that their trademarks and their brands remain strong